hello guys welcome back to the ctx cloud this is the video number second in our training series today we are going to discuss about the ips present in the netscaler and we are going to configure some basic settings inside the netscaler let me open a presentation first netscaler owned ip addresses the netscaler use different type of type of ips address for the management and to the proxy connection to the servers so uh, what he is trying to say that Netscaler will use different type of IPs to communicate with the backend servers and to manage the Netscaler. So to perform the basic setting, the following IPs address are configured. First is NSIP. So what is NSIP? NSIP is the management IP of the Netscaler from which we are going to manage the Netscaler then what next one is virtual ip so what is virtual ip virtual ip is that ip which we will configure uh, when we are doing the load balancing so it's just just an auxiliary ip which we will provide in the netscaler so later on we will discuss about this uh, in the details the next one is subnet ip snip so what is snip snip is basically used to communicate with the backend server so let's say you have the netscaler let me show you so let's say this is the netscaler and you have the three backend servers one two and three so how netscaler will communicate to these servers so with the help of snip this will communicate to the backend servers so this is snip and this is nsip so from where we are going to manage the netscaler the next one is mapped ip whenever you are directly mapping to a router to the netscaler this is uh, done with the help of mip so this is directly mapped ip so generally it is used in the legacy environments uh, in the current scenarios we do not use in most of the companies so basically these three ips are used um, uh, right now in the enterprise companies again i am telling you nsip is that ip from which we are managing the netscaler it's the second one is virtual ip this is just an auxiliary ip when which we will provide you uh, while we uh, configure the servers on the load balancing the third one is snip snip is used to communicate the uh, snip is used to communicate with the backend servers so whenever your netscaler is communicating with the backend servers it can be it can be any type of servers your infra servers web servers storefront server so all this communication is going to happen with the help of snip now let's go to our netscaler and we are going to configure the netscaler so here this is an uh, nsip netscaler ip 192.168.1.110 this is the subnet mask now it's time to configure the snip so what i was saying that the snip is used to communicate these backend servers so uh, you guys can pause this video and you guys can read this information it is very important so now i'm giving the ip 109 so my 109 ip is used to communicate with the backend servers so click on done now it's time to give the host name so what is the host name of this netscaler so i'm going to use ns2 so netscaler2 now you guys need to enter the ip address of your dns so my dns ip address is 192.168.1.10 so in my training series i have created that dhcp dns and active directory so you guys can go to to the playlist number one and here you guys can see all these configurations which i have already done for the citrix so click on done and click on continue just save this configuration so make sure whenever you are doing any changes inside the netscaler so they save the configuration from this tab now you guys are not able to see the most of the settings like netscaler gateway here there is no gateway present if i'm going to click here going to click start it's giving the error that you do not have the appropriate license for to configure this so first of all we are going to install the license on this netscaler so how we can do that 
go to the systems and then licenses so from here you guys can manage the license so let me download my license file for the netscaler and then we will come back now i have downloaded the netscaler license so now i am going to upload this on the netscaler so click on manage licenses click on add new license and here you guys need to upload the license file so i am going to click on browse and from the downloads i am uploading this license file so click on open and after installing the uploading the license file on this netscaler it will reboot automatically the netscaler so click on reboot and then we will see what are the changes come after this uh, reboot so you guys can see that the reboot is still in progress so i'm going to pause this video for next one minute so you guys can see that my netscaler is back after reboot so let me log in here so it's loading and now you guys can see that my almost all the features has been enabled with this license so let me close this and here you guys can see that citrix gateway feature is enabled inside this netscaler so now we are going to talk some basic functionality of uh, netscaler so let's say someone is saying that uh, how to reboot the netscaler so this is the system settings let me so from here you guys can reboot the netscaler so this is the basic setting first uh, we know that how from where we can uh, reboot the netscaler how to upgrade the netscaler so these settings are on the dashboard now we are going to con enable some basic features inside this netscaler so click on settings and go on configure modes and here you guys need to enable all the settings which are present inside this netscaler so this will uh, a default settings which will will enable inside this like app flow large uh, scalar cloud bridge connectors so all these basic features has been enabled with this uh, settings also we need to enable some basic feature so that are the modes which we uh, the enabled inside net netscaler the, the second one is the features so fin features like ssl load loading you guys need to enable this load balancing content filter read write authentication and auditing policies content switching so all these features you guys need to enable let me show you so you guys can see that there is a yellow mark yellow mark yellow mark and in uh, the citrix gateway is uh, there is a yellow mark because these features are still not enabled enabled so to enable this click, click on configure basic features and just select this all and click on ok click on save and then refresh it So it's taking some time to load so just stay connected with me so now you guys can see that all yellow mark has been uh, disabled here so all my features has been enabled so there is no yellow mark or warning inside this netscaler so let me talk about the some licenses present in the netscaler so let me show you so there is three types of licenses present in the netscaler this is the standard advanced and premium so in premium license you will get all the features enabled also in the like cloud we have the subscription based uh, you guys know that there is cloud running right now in the market so in the cloud we have the subscription based license so we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about it the details in our next video so this is the end of this video if you guys think that videos are informative so just subscribe my channel and leave a comment in the comment section so thank you thank you guys